Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I do fountain pens and related things. And today it's a fountain pen. This is the Natami. Well, it doesn't really have a name or at least not anymore. Uh, when I bought mine, this was called the Natami Business Japanese. No, the Natami Business Fountain Pen Japanese Style. That's too much to put on the ring. So they put flight of time. <laughs> this pen is heavily inspired and you may have already, those of you with an eagle eye, figured out what that is. If you weren't familiar with it already, you know what this might be similar to. The Platinum 3776. But I'm not going to do a comparison between these two pens. I don't consider them to be pens anybody would be cross shopping. Although clearly at least one person in the world, maybe three or four, have, 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 have both. Anyway, I got a pro oh, I can't even put down the right one. I've got a problem. My brain's been like this all day long. Uh, but this pen has some interesting things about it, some good things, some odd things. And uh, yeah, why don't we just go ahead and flip the camera, look at the design, things I like and don't like, do a writing test. You know the spiel. We'll look at this pen up close and make a judgment. How about that? We'll decide whether we like it or not. Yeah, flip the camera. All right, let's take a look at the Natami, I'm going to call it the flight of time from here on. That's what's on the band, and I think that's just meant to be an inspirational saying or something. And then 1919 refers to the pen it copies, or rather the pen company that it copies. And that is, of course, Platinum, which started in 1919. So I, I, uh, I, I, they're, they're poking fun, and whether that's in good jest or not, I guess you would have to ask them and maybe ask how Platinum perceives it. But there you go. There are some differences between this pen and that one. You'll notice the clip extremely similar. The band is not identical, but it's certainly in the same style. But this has these straight facets all along the barrel and the cap. And uh, of course you can get, there are limited edition uh, Platinum 3776s that have facets, but they're, they're different from this. But this is, you know, one of the differences that they made between their pen and the Platinum. You'll also notice in that cap that there is kind of a faceted insert in the finial. And that just kind of makes the light play as it goes through that nice dark red uh, plastic acrylic. And so that's kind of a, a neat difference that's between the two, sets it apart just a little bit. Otherwise, the clip is certainly identical. The dimensions are not identical, but quite similar. It has a screw-on cap, and it does have, as you can almost see in there today, a very similar mechanism to the slip and seal, which is part of what makes a platinum pen so good and, and reliable. And I do find that uh, Natami's version of that does do a pretty good job. I've not had this pen hard start or dry out at any point, and I've had ink in it for quite a while. So, uh, however unoriginal and uh, lawsuit possibility that might be, uh, it, does, it does work. The barrel is just a very simple faceted barrel, no trim rings or uh, finial or anything like that on the barrel. There is a trim ring uh, between the barrel and the section that goes with the section because that's the metal part of the section. Now I like that it has the same plastic, so does the 3776, uh, that is the uh, grip section. I always like when those matches. That's just a personal preference. It does come with this uh, simple converter. Nothing fancy there. Uh, just a, a fairly standard run-of-the-mill converter. When I was looking at the size of this, because some of you may want to know if it's going to take cartridges, it is the same size of the pins that I looked. It looks close to Wingsung, but it was a little bit off and didn't quite fit. It looks close to Parker, but it was a little bit off and it, it, it didn't fit. But uh, it fit perfectly with uh, the cartridge that came with the, <laughs> I always wonder how you say this, Y-I-R-E-N. I say urine, some say urine. Uh, you, you say whatever you want to say. Uh, but that particular uh, pin is a copy of, and it's a copy, the urine pin of the Lamy Safari. And that pin's cartridge fit perfectly in this pin. So, 
Uh, there you go as far as size. But I find that it works just fine. No issues there. Altogether, I would say it's a pretty well-made pen. Uh, the uh, facets are major fingerprint magnets, as you can see there. So I find myself constantly doing this with the pen because it's a flat surface. They show more than, say, a rounded surface. And it, that's, that would be the only thing about the pen's design that I find, you know, just... Uh, I won't say off-putting or anything like that, but you just be aware if you are a fingerprint, maybe you got a little bit of OCD about that sort of thing, then uh, you know those facets are going to be a downside. But a lot of people really they like the facets. So there you go. The nib, which is really what I have found I like best about this pen, is a steel nib. Uh, probably well, maybe a number five. Uh, it's it's longer than some. Uh, but probably a number five or, or just a, an Atami flight of time pen, which it also says on the nib. It says Natami. It's well done, I will say this. The uh, engraving here on the nib, a nice design. Uh, it's kind of a gold color and Natami and a logo and the flight of time. Or not a logo, but it actually says fine. Uh, I find it to be a really good nib. Mine is smooth. Uh, it does write a fine line like a Chinese fine. And uh, one thing about it, it is it is definitely steel because it is hard as a nail. But that's that's really not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good writer. And then, of course, just a typical run-of-the-mill plastic feed. But a good writing nib. And like I said, it's been quite reliable. Even here, it's kind of a fingerprint magnet. I don't know why, but some plastics just seem to show that more than others. And this is, uh, it's one of them. Whatever the opposite of oleophobic is, this pen is that. Let's uh, now flip the camera again, and let's do a writing test and get down to what this pen is really all about. Okay, so one of the things you'll want to know about this pen before we get writing, and sometimes I wait till the writing test to remember this, uh, and that is that it does not post. Now, you'll think so. You'll put it on here, and you'll think, oh, yeah, that posts, and you'll get to writing, and very quickly uh, you get that rattle, and I've uh, the first couple of times I thought, oh, yeah, that's going to post because it seems like it's secure, but you go to writing, and the next thing you know, the, the cap is flying across the desk. I mean, I'm, I'm not writing that fast, but uh, it's just falling off and rolling and that sort of a thing. And, and so that's, uh, for some people, that could be a thing. Just know uh, it's, it's not going to post. Don't, don't think, oh, that maybe it's just, just his pen. Uh, from, from what I've seen, I, I, think that's, I think that's all of these. So this is the Natami. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to write business fountain pen Japanese style. It has a fine nib. And like I said, it is, it's, it's a nice fine. And uh, I, it may be a little bit finer than a lot of Japanese fines, you know, or not Japanese, Chinese fines. They tend to be thicker than the Japanese fines. And uh, this, you probably already recognize, this is the diamine. Oxblood just seemed like the right ink for the pen uh, of those that I have. And uh, I think that is a really nice complimentary ink. Here in a moment, I will show you the difference between uh, this fine and that. As I said, there's really no variation. I can't really do that today. Um, no variation in the line very much. It's, it's a hard steel nib. The ink is, I think, about right for the wetness uh, of a fine. It's not overly wet, but that it certainly is a really good flow. I've never had any ink flow problems. I mentioned I've not had any dry out problems, and that's always good. As you can listen to that, there aren't any real scratchy noises. That background noise is the air conditioner. It's already warm in Texas, though not as warm as normal. By the way, those of you who caught the last video, 
I remembered the five this week. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing last week, but I couldn't count. Anyway, it, it writes smoothly. It does not have whatever they copied or, or were inspired by or whatever you want to say. Uh, but between this and the Platinum, it doesn't have that feedback noise and feel of a Platinum. Just a kind of a typical, nice, smooth, fine uh, Chinese steel nib. Don't know who makes the pen, actually. I don't know much about Natami, and you don't find much about them. Even though, you know, they did a good job of uh, logo and identifying, you know, all of that kind of stuff on the... Uh, on the nib. There's just not a lot of information. I do wish that Chinese pen companies would uh, pick up a little bit more marketing and uh, do some websites uh, explaining who they are and where they've come from and their history and all of that. Uh, we might find out there are some things there that, that we would really appreciate knowing and so I, I kind of do wish they would do that. Uh, as I said, no variation. You see that's just the same line. No matter what side you come from, but it is really a good, reliable pen. Uh, as far as its comparison to the, uh, let me swap pens, to the nib, this is apples and oranges, really. I wouldn't compare these two pens even after the similarity of their designs. Uh, this has a soft fine, not just a fine, so it's going to be quite different. And this is a, uh, a 14 karat gold nib, gold nib, rhodium plated. And uh, this you do get some variation. You can't really tell it there, but there and there and there. You're not going to get a lot and you don't want to push it too far, uh, but you do get some variation. And as far as the thickness goes, let me just do this right here. It is obviously finer just as you would expect really nice nib on this but i'll i'll not give too much away i want to review that later but i wouldn't really compare them it's just uh kind of if you want to understand this pen and some of the things about it uh, like that 1919 date and things like that then uh, you're going to make some comparisons there to the platinum pen and speaking of comparisons how about we go ahead with size comparison. So here is the Natami. I'm going to leave out the Platinum because, duh, we'll bring in another Platinum. This is the Platinum Preppy, which many of you would have that pen. Almost identical in length, just barely longer than Natami. Very similar in diameter as well. This is the uh, Pen BBS. 480. Love that pen and the cedar trim. That is one of the most comfortable fountain pens for me. Really like it and reliable as the day is long. This is a Cross Bailey. Thank you again to whoever sent that to me anonymously. Great pen there and very similar. Let me move that up actually. Kind of give you another close comparison. Very similar in size but the Natami is a bit longer and the Natami I think, I think is uh, heavier. And then here you have the uh, Keiko, what do we call that pen? Edge, the Keiko Edge. And by the way, no cracking issues whatsoever. The only issue I have with this pen that's kind of a follow-up, if you watch that review, I love this pen, love the way it writes, love the nib, really smooth. Uh, it does dry out really easily. Uh, you know, you just I just dip it in water and keep going. I don't worry about it. But there there is a little bit of that. Other than that, no issues. Great pen. Really like that one too. But the, the Natami, uh, what I like about it and what do I not like about it? Let's talk about that. All right, let's sum up. What are the pros and cons of the Natami business fountain pen Japanese style? Uh, I th the name, <laughs> I think the name uh, that there is, you know, some convolution of what the name might be, might be one. Uh, you know, a, a con would be that it doesn't post, and that's, that's a shame. Uh, there's not much original to the pen, but, you know, I kind of, you know, I got a sense of humor. I kind of like the back and forth a little bit as long as it's good natured uh, of them kind of poking at Platinum and Platinum probably has poked back at them, but probably with a lawyer. Uh, but I, I like the pen. I like that it is. Uh, I think it is well made for its price 
and I think, you know, I've been using it for a while and it has been very reliable, durable, um, un no cracking issues or anything like that. I've not heard of any cracking issues. If you have, you know, please put that in the uh, comments below because those things are helpful to know. But it's been a good pen. Only con is the not posting thing, and I, I don't really like that. I do like the nib very much. I like that it comes with a converter. I like that the, uh, I think I mentioned the value. I like that they did some things to differentiate it just a little bit. They put the, the extra facets up here in the finial, and of course the facets on uh, the body itself. I think the color is nicely done, and there are color options. I'll put a picture up right here of those. So overall, you know, I, I do like the pen. Um, don't think that you're getting a 3776 for, uh, you know, Jinhao money or anything like that, or an Atami money, but it, it is a good value for what it is. If you want a Platinum, then I would save up and buy a Platinum, or not save up and buy a Platinum, if you know what I mean. Uh, but is it? Is it a decent pen for the money? Yes, it is. Uh, and it's got some personality to it, and I like that. And so, good looking pen. I think it looks great on the desk and things like that. And I do uh, recommend if that's kind of in your wheelhouse and in your budget and things like that, and you like the design and some of the little play on things, then maybe this is a pen you'll want to check out. Okay, well, God bless you, and have a great week, and I will see you in the next video.